Hi, welcome to Make a Mark Studios. Today I'm going to be showing you how to tag a digital graffiti wall. For this activity, we're going to be using a great free program for beginning digital artists called clucky.com. I love it because it really simplifies the tools and less is more when you're learning. So I'm going to show you a little bit about this program. Um, first, there's the brush tab. You'll see that there's a few different brushes here. You can play with opacity, which is how much you can see through the color. And some tools have blending, which allows you to mix colors together. You'll also notice there's this cool pixel brush and an eraser. The next tab is your layers tab. Uh, you can add, delete, duplicate, you can merge layers, so if you have two layers that are have separate things, you want to bring them together. And you can also rename your layers, which is great for keeping organized. You have your edit tab, which has some really simplified um, filters and some abilities like cropping. And your file tab, this is where you'll save your work or create a new document. It does auto save, um, which is pretty cool. So we're going to get started. We're going to make a new layer and I'm gonna call this my sketch layer. I'm a big fan of naming layers to keep organized. So for this, I'm gonna just do a tag of the word cool. My sketch layer is kind of my sloppy layer, so this you are not gonna see in the end. I'm gonna bring the opacity down and add another layer. This layer, I'm going to name my lettering layer. This layer I definitely want to take my time with. I'm going to outline my simple lined letters to create more of a graffiti bubble letter. Feel free to zoom in um, if you need help getting your lines a little cleaner. All right, I'm going to clean up and I'm going to add a little bit of a shadow on my layers keeping it consistent, everything to the right side of the letters. Feel free to explore the color of your shadow and you can also use different brushes to make your shadow look hazier or more smudged out. All right, so next step, I'm gonna delete my sketch layer. And I'm going to add another layer called the color layer. Really important that your color layer is underneath your lettering layer. That's gonna allow you to color underneath the black lines. This is really cool because it'll still allow you to keep those black lines nice and visible. So I'm using the brush, um, the second brush in, and I brought my blending up high, my opacity low, and it's really gonna give it this cool spray paint, kind of airbrushy look. It'll also magically blend your colors really cool. So I'm kind of going with this analogous color scheme. And throughout, I'm going back and forth between my brush and my eraser tool. My eraser tool is awesome because I can clean up any of the color that goes outside of my black lines. So if you're trying to add color and you notice it's on top of your black lines, you just have to go in and reorder your layers. Playing with your amount of blending and opacity can be fun to explore. You'll see that it really changes up the look of how the brush works. Um, so I'm going to finish up this last letter, nice vibrant colors. All right, next step's fun. We're going to go to file and import a picture of a wall. Really important you add this as a layer, not as an image. And we're going to fit it to the size and I'm going to drag it underneath my lettering and coloring. So now we have this cool digital wall that we've just tagged on. I'm gonna go ahead back to my color layer and I'm going to make a kind of drippy paint effect. 
the eyedropper tool, that little guy there, um, is awesome because you can sample different colors so you don't have to try to find them. The tool just finds them for you. I love that tool. It's really fun to work with when you're digitally drawing. And so I'm kind of making this like drip look on the wall. Feel free to play around with the size of your brush and the opacity here. You can also explore different brushes to give it a different feel. I'm gonna bring my tool to a smaller size and less, oh, it's less translucent, so more opaque. And I'm gonna go ahead and add some cool little highlights to my letters. My shadows are all to the right side, so my highlights are gonna be in the top left. Again, notice these are pretty opaque, so I brought that opacity up. I love when graffiti artists create funky little characters. That's one of the coolest things to see. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little alien dude on the side here. I had some space, so kind of thinking about how to balance that out. So I added that onto my color layer, and now I went back to my lettering layer to add a nice black outline. Get creative with your space on the wall. And have fun. He's kind of creepy, kind of cool. I'm liking this guy. Why don't we give him some green eyes too? I'm gonna go back to the color layer, sample some of that green and throw it in there. And make some funky paint drips. I think that is it. I'm liking how this composition came together. Um, again, you can have fun exploring different words, different characters that you add in. Have fun with your digital wall. You're not vandalizing anything, so have fun. <laughs> and enjoy the process. This is a great activity to learn some basics in digital drawing. When you're done, you just click File and Save and you're ready to rock. I hope you found this video tutorial to be helpful. Feel free to subscribe for more videos from Make a Mark Studios, helping you to make your mark through art.